Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor. We're going to go through another video today or another topic. We are going to go through the series circuit. So here we go. There you see the all the five light bulbs in a row in one path. So that's the idea of a series circuit. There's one path for electricity to flow. You can see on the left hand side we have 120 volts alternating current. So the idea is this. Turn the switch on or close the switch. All five light bulbs come on. Open it and they all go off. On. Off. You kind of get the picture, right? So we'll turn them all on. But what if this happens? What if one of, one, of the, one of the light bulbs goes off? And the idea in a series circuit, if one is out, they're all out. All right, so now let's just turn them back on. And then we're going to go through some calculations here involved with the series circuit. So the light bulbs represent resistors, and we R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. Now, I know they're all the same, so the resistance should all be the same, but we're just using these as an example. And each one is going to get a different ohm rating, 100, 200, 3, 4, 5. You get the idea. All right. Let's take this, put it over to the side. And the idea is we're going to calculate three different things. First, we're going to find the total resistance. Then we're going to do the current flow. And finally, the voltage drop across each of the lights or each of the resistors. To do these calculations, we're going to need to use Ohm's law, and I'll put that down on the left. Now, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Ohm's law, you can go uh, to Trades Tutor, check it out. I have a video on that, and uh, while you're there, check out the playlist. Maybe there's some more stuff you might want to see. Okay. All right. First calculation: find the total resistance. Simply put, in a series circuit, you just add them all up. Okay. So there's your 100, 200, 300, so on and so forth. That gives you 1,500 ohms. And we'll put that down there. All right. So that's a series circuit. Just add them all up. Second thing, find the current flow. For this, we're going to use Ohm's law. So E equals I times R, but we're solving for current, or the I, so we have to rearrange the formula, plug the numbers in, and what we find is it's 0 0.08 amps. Now the question becomes, where is it 0 0.08 amps? Well, the answer, everywhere. Okay. There's one path for the current to flow, and it's the same current going everywhere in this circuit. Kind of like, a, let's just say, a, a hose or a water system or something. One drop goes in, one drop comes out. Same with electricity. All right, so we've calculated our amps, 0 0.08. Now what we're going to do, the third thing, is the voltage drop across each resistor. We'll start with resistor 1. So, once again, back to Ohm's law. And we don't have to rearrange this because we're trying to find voltage, so we're trying to find E. Plug the numbers in. The 0.08 is the current. The 100 is the ohms, and we get 8 volts. But what does that mean? What is 8 volts? What are they talking about here? So the idea, take a multimeter, set it to voltage, alternating current, and what you're going to measure is the difference in potential from one side to the other. You're not going to get a reading of 120 volts or anything like that. You're not reading what the source voltage is. All you're really reading is how much it takes to push through that light or how much volts it takes to push through the amperage through the light bulb or the resistor. And it takes 8 volts. So the idea takes 8 volts to push that, that amount of amps through that resistor rated at 100 ohms. That's the idea. All right? Okay. Now, for R2, it's the same thing, but it's 200 ohms. So, realistically, it should, it's a bigger resistor. It should take more volts. And, indeed, it takes 16. Same thing with the third resistor. should be more. And it is. And the fourth. And the fifth. You kind of get the picture, right? Now, the cool thing about electricity is this. If you were to add up all the voltage drops, what do you think you're going to get with all those numbers? If you guessed 120, you're right. It uses all the source voltage. Okay, starts from 120 and the ends with zero on the other side. There you go. That's the series circuit, guys. Thanks for listening and uh, hope you're having a good day.